Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. I know it's been about a week or so since we've last touched base, but um, I do have some updates for you guys and it is a lot of updates that it is. So um, it's freezing, or at least it's freezing for me. Uh, the weather has not been conducive to vlogging at all, so I apologize. Um, I'm really just trying to get this video out quick today because tomorrow this is going into the shop for some upgrades. So we'll touch on that a little bit later. So we're gonna get the truck started, get it brought up to temperature, and then we're gonna go take a little ride and um, I'll update you guys of what has been going on in the last week or so. So I'll be right with you. Well, you guys are probably wondering why I didn't electric start the truck. Well, it's because the remote start's not working right now. So why isn't the remote start working? The remote start's not working because we actually have a 550 horsepower Sport Econ Tune running right now from um, Calibrated Power Duramax Tuner. I'll fill you in how we got to that also as well. What I have to do, and I'm not going to do it until it goes into the shop like I told you earlier, um, I have to go to the dealer and they have to do the uh, VATS system, which is the vehicle anti-theft, so it can link the remote and the keys and everything else again. But uh, the remote works, the lock works, just the remote start doesn't work. So temporary inconvenience, and it is an inconvenience being that it's you know anywhere from 10 to 15 degrees every day. This week it's supposed to be as low as like five, so um, it sucks, but it is what it is. All right guys, we're sitting in the truck. We are warming up a little bit. It's uh, about uh, 15 degrees outside, so um, just kind of wanted to fill you in a little bit about what happened this week. So I finally got tunes from Motor Ops. Um, they sent me a couple different tunes, but I was having problems connecting with uh, the HP tuner software. So it, it had nothing to do with the tuner itself. Uh, from what I understand or can comprehend from this is that uh, HP tuners did a software update. They do these things all the time. And depending on, one, right, depending on the version that these tuners are writing tunes on, Sometimes there's connectivity problems or there's just issues. There's always issues. I'm on the forums all the time. People are always having issues. So not to deter you from getting tunes, just you have to have some, some sort of patience. So I got tunes in on Wednesday of last week. Motor Ops sent me a Sport Econ tune, 550 horsepower, around 250 foot-pound of torque. Um, they also sent me... Uh, was it the race tune or street tune? It was like a 200 horsepower tune. I, I'm not running it. And then uh, I, I was waiting on like a tow tune or just uh, just above stock performance tune, which I don't have yet, but I will have next week. So they sent me tunes Wednesday. I was all excited. Went to do the ECM swap. Um, I did do the ECM swap. Um, once you get the hang of it, it's actually fairly simple to do. Um, I can probably do it now in about I don't know, 10 minutes maybe, maybe a little bit less. Uh, but the first time took me about an hour, just over an hour. Um, I'll show you guys where the ECM is located uh, either later in this video or in a, a future video when it's a little bit warmer. Um, and I'll show you how to do it. I'm not gonna actually e exchange it again because I ended up having to do it three times myself that night because I didn't follow the instructions and I didn't get the stock file off of my truck on the stock ECM. So. When I got the replacement one in from HP Tuners, I called the tuner because we I've got a pretty good relationship with them and these guys are awesome. He's like, uh, you gotta put your stock one back in. So I had to put the stock one back in, then I put the replacement one back in. Uh, so, you know, as much as a pain as it was, it was a learning experience. Uh, the TCM is simple, it's open, it's out. Um, it's right on the back of the, uh, the radiator, so I'll be able to show you guys where that is. That is super simple, and I'll show you how to change the wires off using that one because it's, it's exposed and it's open and it's easy to get to. So, Motor Ops tunes are here. The HP Tuner ECM is in. Call the tuner, and um, I install the Motor Ops files. I didn't have any issues. Those, in stop, those installed very, very quickly, so I'm excited. I call a buddy. I gotta get this exhaust off. I know I have the Flow Pro in my garage and I'm like, I can do this, no big deal. So, um, my buddy comes over, we get under the truck, we start torching, 
or not torching, but we started cranking on some bolts and stuff. And at this point in time, it's like eight or nine o'clock at night. I'm freezing. I haven't, I still haven't gotten the downpipe disconnected. And I know you guys are probably gonna make fun of me a little bit. It's so simple, I can do it. Well, if it's simple for you, great. For me, not that simple. Don't have a lift. I don't have all the tools that I need. I have generic tools. I thought I could get everything off in a quick amount of time and just get it done. I ended up getting frustrated. I was freezing. I called to get quits. So I have a dilemma. I'm running non-compliant tunes on um, a truck that's still compliant. So what am I gonna do? <clears throat> so I ended up calling the dealer, Nick, uh, Nick Hans from Hans Diesel Performance who I got the motor ops tunes from and he, he actually hooked me up with Chris Emke from Duramax Tuner and Calibrated Power. He, he actually hosts the, uh, the, Diesel, uh, the Diesel Performance podcast with Duramax Tuner so a lot of you guys are pretty familiar, familiar with Chris's name. Chris was super sweet. He, he, um, he honestly, they sent me the tunes that I'm running right now. They're compliant tunes. They wanted me to do a little testing for them. Um, I am the first um, truck to get tunes on it that hasn't come straight from a dealer. Um, Calibrated Power and Duramax Tuner do very, very good, thorough um, testing, uh, research um, before that their tunes are released. That's why you can only get their tunes through a dealer right now. So I'm the first, I guess you would call like peer-to-peer -peer, uh, tuned truck straight from Calibrated Power. So. I am running calibrated power tunes right now guys and I can tell you that I am thoroughly impressed. I was just running an ECM tune uh, for the last two days. Last night they sent me uh, an updated file with TCM tuning and I got to be honest with you guys, I am very, very, very impressed with um, the truck now since there's the, the TCM tuning. Um, what I've noticed and we'll go through it in a little bit but um, the truck pulls hard pulls really hard out of the hole the tires don't stand a shot um, but I didn't like the shift point I didn't like how it would defuel on the shifts and uh, when you change your ECM and your TCM out your transmit you have to go through the Allison transmission relearn process again so in the beginning I wasn't sure if it was my transmission that just didn't understand the way that I was driving or if it was uh, the tuning but with this new transmission tuning that I got yesterday um, it's it's been great um, my edge monitor doesn't work, which is frustrating me right now because I can't monitor the parameters that I used to monitor on um, on the stock file and the stock ECM. But um, I will be getting it fixed, and they are they will be working out the bugs. But um, like I said, tomorrow other stuff's happening. So before I run out of battery power here, I just want to address to you guys so that right now you do understand I'm running compliant tuning, 550 horsepower, around 250 foot-pound of torque. Um, the truck's running great. Um, I've got my GoPro Hero 7 guys that I'm going to switch over for, and we're going to do some just, you know, in the cab driving. Uh, I'll do some pulls. I'll show you some 0 to 60s. Um, this truck is just a completely different animal. But... Um, Tomorrow, my truck is going into uh, the diesel shop. Um, one of my buddies locally here has a lift, so um, he's going to be doing. We're going to be doing the downpipe, which I'll show you, Flow Pro exhaust, and the EGR fix kit. So this truck will be completely non-compliant when I get it back later this week. Um, but for now, I'm running. I've been running calibrated power tuning, and I'm just getting used to this. And this, it, I mean, it is a completely different truck. So, catch you guys on the flip side. We're gonna flip over to the GoPro, and uh, we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go drive around as soon as we get up to temp. So, see you guys in a little bit. Bye. I don't know if you're able to hear me that clearly right now. I'm on the GoPro, but I just wanted to show you guys that we just pull out of the house. Um, I'm not up to temp yet, so I'm not gonna be uh, hammering on it too much, but. Um, yeah, but I did want you guys to just uh, see that I don't have any engine lights on, truck shifts smooth, um, I mean the power is there, once we wait till this gets heated up a little bit, I mean it just, it just pulls, but uh, haven't done any, I haven't launched or any, done anything like that yet, so. Alright, so we just pulled up to a stoplight. Of course, there's a sheriff in front of me, literally right in front of me. But um, maybe I'll take off at this light. 
traction, traction control is off. I don't know how clear this video is going to be. I might not even use any of this footage. I'm, I'm not really sure. I'm not going to slam on it, but uh, as soon as I get rolling, I will roll into the power real quick, and you can see how quick that uh, this truck just gets up and moves. So here we go. Alright, okay. Okay. Um, it's just, it's just an animal. That's like, I don't know, 70% throttle. See if we can play around a little bit. Maybe we'll do like a 50 to 80. I wanted to downshift real quick. Downshift. All right, here we go, 50 to 80. Didn't downshift. Didn't downshift. Oh, it's pulling. So, I mean, for emissions compliant tuning, this truck scoots. Um, it's nice and quiet in the cab. That's about to change. Just get on it a little bit. I think we're in second gear. All right, guys, I just finished editing this video, and I apologize it hasn't been up to par for the, with the last couple videos that I've been doing, but, you know, that's okay. Uh, the next couple videos you guys are really, really going to enjoy. Um, more parts are coming in. I've got in my package from Worley Custom Fab. I'll show you guys what I'm getting in uh, an upcoming video. If you're following me on Instagram, I did post a quick picture of what I did receive today. So go check that out, Matthew S. Merrick on IG. Um, tomorrow morning, the truck is getting dropped off bright and early again for the downpipe, the EGR delete, and the um, Flow Pro exhaust. I'm going to be switching to motor ops, non-compliant tuning after that. So that's where we're going to pick up hopefully on the next vlog. All right, guys, wrapping up, I just want to give a huge shout out to Duramax Tuner and Calibrated Power. Uh, their customer service is awesome. The tunes and the TCM tune that have, they have provided to me has been working great. Um, I wish I had a little bit more time with them, to be honest, but I'm really looking forward to taking this to the next step with um, the exhaust, the downpipe, and the EGR delete. So you guys are just as much a part of this build as I am. Uh, I'm going to link the calibrated power and Duramax tuner information in the description below. Definitely check them out if you are interested in that, guys. If you like this video, if you're enjoying the content, please subscribe, hit that like button, and I really love you all. See you in the next upload. Thanks. Bye.